Hi everyone, the book that I brought you today is Phantom in the Brain, written by Sandra Blacksley and uh, V.S. Uh, Ramachandran. Uh, V.S. Ramachandran is a neuroscientist and a well-known uh, scientist in the world rather. Uh, he knows more about brain than the other scientists, I shall say. And what a brilliant book this book is. Uh, this is about brain. And all of us know that brain is a mysterious part and uh, still people are wondering, you know, I mean, what is this particular uh, part of the body and how does it function? Although most of us, we know 80% or 90% of the functions or functionality of the brain, but still there are mysterious aspects that lives or that stays within the brain. And people like Ramachandran and other scientists, they are trying to know more about brain consciousness and how brain works. Let's look at this particular book, Phantom in the Brain. What is the meaning of phantom? Phantom, otherwise it is known as a devil, right? So devil in the brain, what does it mean? Well, let me explain to you. Uh, there are uh, certain diseases unimaginable. Uh, for example, uh, there are uh, many occasions where during wartime, people lose their hands and the legs. Now, what happened after you have lost your hand, still there are many patients, they imagine, they have an imaginary existence of that particular hand and they think that there are uh, pains, uh, intolerable pain. So, Dr. Ramachandran encountered so many patients and these patients don't have hands or legs but still they have excruciating pain and this is something uh, very pity isn't it uh, some part of the body you don't have but still your brain uh, gives you signals as if you know that exists and then you know i mean you feel a uh, severe pain so ramachandran being a neuroscientist what he did he invented uh, a, 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 an instrument called mirror box this mirror box is a less expensive mirror that reflects one of your existing hands or leg and then that uh, sort of uh, you know teases the brain or it, 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 it ensures that the brain accepts uh, the body part that is uh, that doesn't exist uh, so therefore you know the, the relief to the patient so uh, this particular uh, disease is a very uncommon disease but then in the world there are so many people they lost their uh, their uh, parts of their hands they felt this particular pain and uh, ramachandran is known for as i said the functionality of the brain how does it work as i said a little ago brain is a mysterious object and at, time, at times it uh, can function or it can uh, it can give you trouble for example uh, there are cases in this particular book wherein a lady, a lady who considers that she is pregnant, uh, but actually scientifically she is not pregnant. Uh, but then uh, all the functionalities of a pregnant woman, especially at the time of delivery, I think these all happens. Uh, the chemical reaction happens within the body of this lady. She started lactating and she has a bulging uh, stomach and she has all the symptoms uh, at the time of a delivery and uh, why this happens uh, you know at times you pity this lady but then uh, the doctors and scientists have found this is because your brain sometimes uh, teases you and the brain uh, considers that you know you are uh, pregnant and how to come out of this uh, there are a lot of practices uh, Ramachandran you know mentions in this particular book and this book, the entire book is about uh, different parts of the brain. So if you are more interested to know about the brain, how does it work? And it's very complex. Uh, there are so many parts and you would be surprised. There are 100 billion neurons, 100 billion neurons that spark in your brain. So that is about brain. And still, we don't know, uh, you know, I mean, certain aspects of the brain, how does it function? So among the scientific community, uh, there are people, they praise uh, Ramachandran saying that Ramachandran is Marco Polo of the brain study. And I have seen uh, his uh, 
uh, his talk on uh, the YouTube and it's amazing. Uh, his talks are much better than the book. This book has got a lot of uh, scientific aspects and scientific details. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, uh, Ramachandran has tried to simplify his writing. I like this book and this gives you uh, an idea how does one's brain function. So if you have time and if you like to know more about brain, you are most welcome. If you have not uh, subscribed this particular channel, please subscribe this channel and please mention on the comment section what do you think about this particular book. Thank you so much.